Welcome, in front of me is Dell Latitude 5400 and in this video I will show you how to install Windows 11 from USB on this laptop. So in order to do this you're gonna need a USB flash drive like this with at least 8GB of available storage on it. Uh, so make sure that you have one and if you have some uh, files on this uh, USB flash drive then back them up somewhere else because we're gonna need to format this uh, flash drive in order to use it and we're also gonna need a PC with uh, uh, internet access in order to download and install the uh, ISO image on it so you can use this laptop if you have a system on it and if you don't uh, you can use a separate device uh, and I'm gonna do the same, so first of all, let me switch to another device to show you and to uh, explain the further steps that you're gonna have to take in order to proceed uh, this operation. So first of all, insert the USB flash drive into the PC that you're gonna be using for creating uh, an ISO image on the USB flash drive uh, and open your web browser and go to the search engine and search for Windows 11 download. I highly recommend using either the Edge browser or the Google Chrome for it. So, once you find the official Microsoft.com website that says download Windows 11, you have to open it, then scroll down this page, select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO, here, then select confirm and wait until your request is validated. Then choose the product language and click confirm and once again wait until your request is validated. Then select 64 bit download and just wait until this ISO file is downloaded on your PC. In the meantime, we can go back to the uh, search, search engine and search for the roughest program. Now, once you find the official rafas.ie website, open it, scroll down to download section and download the latest version at the very top of the list. Try to run it on your PC by opening this file and if it doesn't uh, run on your uh, PC, you have to download this x86 version instead and it will certainly run on your device. So once you open this application, you're gonna have to choose the device. The device is the USB flash drive that you're gonna be using for installing the Windows. And then just wait until this ISO file is downloaded. Then click select right here. And select the ISO file that you downloaded. And once you do that, you don't have to change anything in the settings. Just click start. Make sure that no checkboxes are checked in this window. Click OK. Wait uh, a little while. And click OK again to confirm that all data on your flash drive will be erased. Then just wait until the status bar sa says ready. Once the status bar says ready, you can close this window and then remove your USB flash drive from this uh, PC and uh, plug it into your laptop. Once you do that, you're gonna have to uh, open the one-time boot menu on this laptop and to do that, simply press the power button once and then start repeatedly pressing F12 until you see entering boot menu in the top right corner of the screen. Okay, as you can see here is this sign and now we just wa have to wait until the boot menu appears on the screen. Once you see it, use down arrow key to navigate to UEFI generic SD uh, slash MMC. Now, uh, as you can see, there are two partitions. I usually go with the first one uh, I'm not sure if the second one will work, so go with the first one with me, press enter and wait until your device boots into this USB flash drive. Now 
Now, in this window you can change the time and currency formats by expanding this list and selecting the value that you need. Then, once you're uh, done, click next. On the follow in the following window, uh, you'll be able to change the keyboard or input method during the installation. And once you're done, click next. Hit the checkbox next to I agree, everything will be deleted, including files, apps and settings, and click next once again. Then wait for the license agreement to appear, and once it appears on your screen, read it. And when you're done, click accept to continue. Wait until it finds the disks. Okay, and in the following window you'll see four or five partitions, as in my case. Uh, so what you're gonna have to do is delete each of these uh, partitions. Uh, to do that, select a partition and click delete partition right here. And then repeat this process for the rest of the partitions that you see. Except for the partition with your USB flash drive, of course. And the partition for uh, UEFI NTFS, which is also your USB flash drive partition. Delete each one of them. Okay, and right now we are left with 476 0.9 gigabytes of unallocated space in my case in your case uh, this number can be different generally if you want to have just one disk on your computer the system disk then you can simply click next and go to the following step but if you want uh, to have a uh, different uh, for example like two disks on your device uh, so the C disk and the D disk uh, then you're gonna have to uh, select an allocated space, click create partition and then uh, input the size in megabytes for each of your partitions. Uh, now uh, first uh, of all, uh, for, the, for the first partition I recommend, uh, I recommend creating a first partition as your system one uh, because this way uh, it will be easier for you to manage the size of the other disks. Uh, and I recommend the system disk to be at least 100 gigabytes in size uh, and uh, the uh, be better size, uh, even better size will be around 150,000 megabytes uh, so 150 gigabytes for uh, for the C disk this way uh, you won't have to worry about the way your system uh, works so uh, let's uh, create a system disk uh, with the size of 150,000 megabytes which is uh, almost equal to 150 gigabytes and then click apply then wait until the partition is created uh, it will be partition 3 on the list let's just wait until you, we see it okay and right here you can see the partition 3 just remember that this is the uh, system disk so the C disk uh, so this is the partition where we're gonna be installing the windows and now we are left with 330 more gigabytes of unallocated space which we can turn into the fourth partition to do that click uh, select unallocated space uh, click create partition and then input the size in megabytes if you want have uh, if you want to have one separate disk on your uh, in your file explorer then you can simply go with uh, this size otherwise you can change uh, you can basically take half of it or quarter of it and make make, make as many disks as you want using this much uh, storage uh, i'm gonna create just one separate disk so i'm gonna go with the default value which is uh, the full uh, size of unallocated space that we have and then click apply and this way the fourth partition will be created. Now uh, you won't see it uh, as a D-Disk once you boot into your Windows but uh, and once you enter the Disk Manager you will see this partition there and you'll uh, the only thing that you're gonna have to do in Disk uh, uh, manager, manager is uh, add a letter to this uh, partition and then it will become a separate disk on your computer.
I hope that I explained it uh, well. Uh, I'm not really sure, uh, but uh, okay, let's continue. So let's select the partition three as we have decided that this is, this is our system disk and click next to continue. Now click install and wait until Windows is installed on your PC. And at this point the installation process is complete, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, consider subscribing to our channel, leave us a like and a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.